Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and welcome to Cross Shop. Halloween season is upon us and I figured I would give you guys some of my recommendations for games to play to get in the spirit of Halloween. The first one is for the Super Nintendo and it's Super Ghouls and Ghosts. This game is very difficult but it's a ton of fun fighting the monsters that rise up out of the ground and fly overhead and jump out at you from all over the place is a blast. It's a great side-scrolling action game with a spooky twist. Number two is a remake of another game, and it's the only handheld title in this list. That's The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the 3DS. Much like the Ocarina of Time remake that recently came out for 3DS, this game has improved graphics, improved controls, better camera work, improved gameplay overall for the most part, and it's really probably the best way to play the Majora's Mask game. What with all the masks in the game, collecting those, and generally a very spooky, creepy, kind of macabre vibe, this is an excellent choice for Halloween gaming. Number three is one of the scariest games I've ever played to date, and that's Dead Space on the PS3. I don't know if I've ever jumped as much as I did during this game, or screamed out loud like I did during the first hour or two of playing it, and admittedly again a little later. But this game has incredible audio, the sound effects are haunting in this game, the graphics are pretty great, they look a little dated now, but the overall atmosphere of this game reminds me of Bioshock meets the movie Event Horizon with Sam Neill and I think Lawrence Fishburne was in that movie as well. Check that one out if you haven't, it's a pretty disturbing film, but definitely an exciting one. Number four on my list is actually the first survival horror game I ever played myself, and that's the Resident Evil remake on the GameCube. This game blew my mind when it first came out, and I remember playing through it over and over and over again. I played through it so much that I eventually got the unlimited ammo rocket launcher that you can wield and can defeat any enemy, including the bosses, with a single hit. But again, the tone and the atmosphere of this game are just spine tingling and the graphics are great. They still hold up pretty well, although the HD remake of this remake that's now out on PlayStation 3, 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC, uh, of course has better visuals now. But you really owe it to yourself to try this one out if you've never played a Resident Evil game. I think this is the best place to start. And my number one pick for Halloween themed games to play this year is a personal favorite of mine, and that's Medieval on the PS1. In this game you play as Sir Daniel Fortescue, you fall in battle at the very beginning, and to kind of cover up the sad, quick death of his favorite knight, the king declares that you were actually a hero. Centuries pass and the bad guy comes back, his name is Zarek. You come back as an undead hero, missing your eyeball. You run around attacking enemies, solving puzzles, and really just working your way through these really creative environments that kind of evoke a sense of the Nightmare Before Christmas. There's definitely a Tim Burton-esque uh, sort of vibe to this game, and even in the music, you'll think of some Danny Elfman compositions. But although this game's controls aren't the best, this game has an incredible aesthetic that really does suit Halloween extremely well. Well guys, these were my top five picks for Halloween themed games this year. I'll probably have a different set next year just to kind of mix things up. But I'm curious, what are your favorite games or movies that you like to play or watch during this time of year? Leave me a comment below and I'd love to hear what your picks are. As always guys, thanks so much for stopping by and if it's your first time here and you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out at Cross Shop today and play heavy.